Few figures in history have captured the imagination and inspired all quite like Alexander the Great. Born over two millennia ago, in 356 BC in Pella, the ancient capital of Kingdom of Macedonia, Alexander's life was marked by unparalleled military conquests, visionary leadership, and a legacy that continues to influence the world to this day. It was said that on the day Alexander was born, the Temple of Artemis in Ephesus, one of the seven wonders of the world, burned down. This led Hegesios of Magnesia to say that it had burned down because Artemis was away, attending the birth of Alexander. From his legendary conquests to his innovative strategies, Alexander the Great carved out an empire that stretched from Greece to India, reshaping the ancient world. His story is one of ambition, virulence and the relentless pursuit of greatness. Alexander was born to King Philip II of Macedonia and Queen Olympias. His father, a formidable warrior and strategist, transformed Macedonia into a powerful kingdom, setting the stage for Alexander's future conquests. His mother, Olympias, was known for her intelligence and strong will and encouraging her son to believe it was his destiny to conquer the Persian Empire. From a young age, Alexander was exposed to the art of warfare and leadership. He was raised in the manner of noble Macedonian youths, learning to read, play the lyre, ride, fight and hunt. When Alexander was 10 years old, a trader brought his father a horse, which was refusing to be mounted. Noticing the fear of horse from its own shadow, Alexander asked his father whether he could tame the horse, which he eventually succeeded. Alexander gave his horse the name Bucephalus, meaning ox head, who carried him later on as far as India. When his beloved horse Bucephalus died, Alexander named a city after him, Bucephala. Alexander's father Philip ensured that his son received a comprehensive education and hired the renowned philosopher Aristotle as his tutor. I am Aristotle one of the greatest thinkers of all time and the tutor of Alexander the Great who conquered much of the known world. In his divine comedy the poet Dante describes me as the master of those who know. My curiosity set the stage for groundbreaking discoveries that would change the world. Born in 384 BC in the ancient Greek city of Stagira, I had unbelievable thirst for knowledge in many fields including philosophy, politics, science and logic. Under Aristotle's guidance, Alexander was taught philosophy, science, medicine and literature. This education not only broadened his knowledge, but also cultivated his curiosity and desire to explore the world. Tragedy struck when King Philip II was assassinated in 336 BCE. At just 20 years old, Alexander ascended to the throne, inheriting a kingdom and a powerful military force. His first challenge was to consolidate power and secure his position as king, demonstrating his military acumen and ruthlessness. Alexander swiftly quelled rebellions and eliminated potential threats to his rule. His early campaigns against the Theresians and Illyrians demonstrated his tactical brilliance. With Macedonia firmly under his control, Alexander the Great turned his attention to fulfilling his father's dream, the conquest of the Persian Empire. In 334 BCE, he embarked on an audacious campaign against the mighty Persian Empire, a journey that would shake the world and etch his name into the chronicles of history. As being their hegemon, Alexander led the League of Corinth, also called Hellenic League, and assumed leadership over all Greeks, excluding Sparta in their conquest of Persia. The Spartans, who refused to join the League, were later on explicitly excluded from the dedications Alexander made. Alexander's Persian campaign began with the Battle of Granicus. Leading his troops with unparalleled courage and tactical brilliance, he secured a decisive victory. This battle showcased his innovative use of the Macedonian phalanx and cavalry and established Alexander as a formidable force in the eyes of his enemies. 
When Alexander's father Philip created the League of Corinth to unify Greece against Persia, the Spartans chose not to join as they had no interest in joining a pan-Greek expedition unless it were under Spartan leadership. Thus, upon defeating the Persians at the Battle of the Granicus, Alexander the Great sent to Athens 300 suites of Persian armor with the inscription, Alexander, son of Philip, and all the Greeks, except the Spartans, gave these offerings taken from the foreigners who live in Asia. Moving swiftly, he captured Kistis along the coast, securing vital resources and support. His campaign continued with a series of victories, including the legendary Battle of Issus in 333 BCE. Despite being vastly outnumbered by the Persian forces led by King Darius III, Alexander's strategic genius turned the tide of the battle. Utilizing the terrain to his advantage and executing a brilliant flanking maneuver, he achieved a stunning victory, forcing Darius to flee. The crowning achievement of Alexander's Persian campaign came at the Battle of Gogamela in 331 BCE. Facing an enormous Persian army, he once again demonstrated his tactical superiority. Through meticulous planning and innovative strategies, he decimated the Persian forces, effectively ending the Achaemenid Persian Empire founded by Cyrus the Great of the Achaemenid dynasty in 550 BCE and which was the largest empire by that point in history, spanning a total of 5.5 million square kilometers. With Darius III dead and the Persian Empire in ruins, Alexander's dominion extended from Greece to Egypt and beyond. In 332 BCE, Alexander entered Egypt, where he was welcomed as a liberator. To legitimize taking power and be recognized as the descendant of the long line of pharaohs, Alexander made sacrifices to the gods at Memphis and went to consult the famous oracle of Amun-Ra at the Siva Oasis, where he was pronounced the son of the deity Amun. Since then, Alexander began to identify himself as the son of Zeus Amun. Recognizing the strategic and cultural significance of Egypt, Alexander restored the temples neglected by the Persians, dedicated new monuments to the Egyptian gods, and founded the city of Alexandria at the mouth of the Nile River. The city Alexandria would become a beacon of learning, culture, and commerce embodying Alexander's vision of a unified world, where Greek and Eastern cultures could coexist and thrive. Alexandria's famed library and lighthouse became symbols of knowledge and innovation, attracting scholars, scientists, and philosophers from across the ancient world. This blend of cultures and exchange of ideas epitomized Alexander the Great's legacy, fostering an era of intellectual and cultural flourishing known as the Hellenistic period. Driven by ambition to reach the ends of the world and the great outer sea, Alexander pressed on towards India. In 326 BCE, he faced one of his most challenging battles at the Hydes Peace River against King Porus. The battle was fierce, with Alexander the Great encountering war elephants for the first time. Despite the formidable challenge, his tactical brilliance secured another victory over Porus, an ancient Indian king of present-day Punjab. Impressed by Porus' bravery and leadership, Alexander treated him with great respect and appointed him as a satrap. This act of diplomacy showcased Alexander the Great's ability to blend military might with statesmanship, earning him loyalty and admiration even from his former adversaries. Alexander's campaigns were marked by relentless ambition, but they were not without challenges. The harsh terrains, extreme climates and continuous warfare took a toll on his troops. Moral vain and descent grief culminating in the mutiny and his soldiers refused to march further east. Recognizing the exhaustion and longing of his men to return home, he eventually turned back at the Bias River and later died in 323 BCE at the age of 32 in Babylon, the city of Mesopotamia, which he had planned to establish as his empire's capital. He left behind an empire without a clear successor. His sudden death plunged his empire into chaos, leading to a power struggle among his generals. 
known as the Diadechi. Alexander the Great's empire, all fragmented, gave rise to the Hellenistic period, a time of cultural and intellectual flourishing. His generals carved out their own kingdoms, spreading Greek culture, language, and influence across three continents. The cultural fusion that Alexander championed continued to thrive, shaping the development of art, science, and philosophy for centuries. Alexander the Great's legacy is one of unparalleled achievements and enduring influence. His charisma, courage, and ability to inspire loyalty were instrumental in maintaining the unity of his diverse and far-flung empire. He became legendary as a classical hero like Achilles, featuring prominently in the historical and mythical traditions of both Greek and non-Greek cultures. Legends of Alexander the Great's exploits coalesced into the church century the Alexander Romance, which in the pre-modern period underwent more than 100 translations, elaborations and described as Antiquity's most successful novel. Being undefeated in battles, he is one of history's greatest and most successful military commanders. His military conquests reshaped the ancient world, establishing new trade roads and cultural exchanges that bridged East and West. Alexander was admired by many Roman generals who wanted to associate themselves with his achievements. He spread Greek culture across three continents, influencing art, architecture, language and philosophy. The cities he founded became centers of learning and innovation, leaving an indelible mark on history. His vision of a unified world, though never fully realized, set the stage for future empires and inspired generations of leaders, scholars and explorers. Alexander the Great's journey from a young Macedonian prince, learning from Aristotle, to being the king of the ancient Greek kingdom of Macedonia, one of the largest empires in history, stretching from Greece and Egypt to the borders of India, is a testament to the power of vision, determination and resilience.